Yo, what's up? Former C CBS head honcho. Let's move as who's been removed because he tried to stop Bobby Phillips from talking about the assault or oh, well the accusation of sexual assault that happened at CBS and the misconduct and CBS hired two law firms to try to handle the situation behind closed doors and and through their investigation you know he's lied and misled them and what they found out is that at least four former employees that work there has given him oral sex. They claim that he had at least one employee that would come there just to give him sex, oral sex. I'm dead serious. Dead serious about this. So Les Boonves, it was brought to the conclusion that there was a major problem developing within the ranks 100% now he married Julie Chen back in 2004 so when he married Julie back in 2004 they said oh well that's when it all stopped he married Julie he fell in love so that's when all this stopped, allegedly. Now, I'm not going to say I'm a big expert on Wes and everything he's done and know the man that well, but all I will tell you is that something's not right. Some don't sound right. Some don't smell right. Some just ain't right. But my whole thing is, I don't care. <laughs> I just thought about it. I don't care. <laughs> but CBS can take back his severance pay of $120 million that he took to step aside and step down. They have grounds now to try to say that, okay, you know, he kind of violated some things here from what they had in the findings so that they can go ahead and swindle to try to get the $120 million back. You know, and investigators think they found enough. And I don't think they have enough malfeasance in the in the process as far as it looks like people was willingly giving him oral sex. You can't penalize a man for getting oral sex. You know, it wasn't what they were hired for. It ain't like he said, um Let me see your mouth. Say ah. <laughs> you know, it's not like that was going on. I mean, or was it? I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know and would say is, who cares? He's not the president of the United States. I mean, y'all gave him a pat on the back and kept him in the White House. But this guy is is a problem it's ridiculous
Everything's been lies. I don't know what's going on here. They're not even showing the videos. Ain't that something? You talk hip hop and Cardi B and all this stuff, they let it fly for days. You talk about something real, they don't even send out your live stream. Now, here's the problem. A very major problem. CBS looked at the Les Moonves situation and they said, okay, we handle it in-house. We got the two investigators doing what they're going to do. I don't care. I said it like a thousand times and they still didn't hear me. I'm like, I don't care. I don't care. I mean... Nobody's saying we don't care about the girl. You know, I don't care about her, the whole situation. But if the president of CBS needed to relieve some stress by having oral sex done to him by an employee, and the employee was willing, and that person, that's all they did, I wish I could have somebody that all they do is can come in and give me oral sex all day. Do you know how easy my day would be? Do you know how much fun I would have at work? I will be the happiest man at work in history. If I'm having a bad day, they the sponsor said they pulling, they don't like what happened on the TV show. God, we gotta change the time slot. That call Stephanie in here. <laughs> oh, Stephanie, rough day. <sighs> Screw the show. Forget the time slide. Just cancel. Yeah. It's good. So if he needs that to take the stress off, hey, it's all right. He's married to Julie Chen. It's funny that Julie didn't put her last name out there. She was known still as Julie Chen. Nobody knew she was really married until she, like, I am Julie Chen Moonbez. And once all the controversy came out, I seen Lens. I wonder why I like Lens so much. I can relate. He's one of us. I said, man, this dude is, yeah, he, he's on the level. Don't let the money in the suit fool you. I mean, that's what you're supposed to do with it. He ain't, he ain't forcing nobody to do anything. They want to get rid of that guy. That's what I'm saying. It's over for network television and all the other stuff that you've been seeing on TV, those things are done. They're done, buddy. They want us all out. Now I got a roll, so, so y'all take care. Don't forget to subscribe. And they didn't send this video out and you didn't get a notification. Let me know in the comment section. I'm out.